and all. Uh, I am Dr. Nancy, working as assistant professor in the Department of uh, Computing Technologies in SRMISD. Uh, my husband, uh, Mr. Shanmugh Sundaram, he is working as a general manager in uh, Siemens Gamesha Windmill Manufacturing Company. Uh, we have a loving son named Sheehan. Uh, Sheehan, you all might be curious whether it is a Christian name or a Hindu name. <laughs> it is uh, uh, the, Actually, we named him based on the meaning. The meaning is... Uh, precious and peaceful child. So we named after that only. Uh, he is in standard 10th. He has completed and we are anticipating for his results. Um, to begin with, um, I have to mention uh, the thing which happened this uh, uh, in the duration of this UHV3. It was on May 3rd it is my father-in-law's death anniversary. So, um, many of the Hindus over here might know the rituals they'll do. They'll call it as Tidhi. And they'll do some rituals for uh, the past uh, person. So, it was, um, I mean, since 17 years of my marriage, married life, I have been attending that uh, rituals every year. I will not miss it for any cause. This time, uh, due to this UHV3, I couldn't attend. Uh, and I was a little bit worried, uh, hesitated to inform my mother-in-law that I won't be coming. I don't know in what sense she will take if I'm not coming because that is most important for them. As a son, it is uh, a, 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 an action of high priority, duty to be done for his father. Though he had not seen his father at all because he passed away when my uh, husband was six months baby. But from that, from first year onwards till this 44th year, he is doing it. So that is a very important uh, action to be done, role to be played by my husband and me. So I have skipped that because of UHV3, because of my presence here. So I thought my mother-in-law will take this as a feeling of opposition. Uh, uh, she might think that I am finding out reasons for not attending. This was my perception. Uh, all went on well. On uh, May 3rd evening, I called my mother-in-law. I inquired whether uh, uh, the priest came and uh, everything happened in a good manner. Relatives came about food, everything. She, she started crying. Uh, Nancy, we, we missed you today. Uh, but I believe your father-in-law uh, will be with you, uh, will bless you, though you are not here. Um, I know you would have been here if you, have, if you would not have been held up with some other work. You will always give priority to your father-in-law. But um, I, didn't, I didn't explain anything. Uh, Auntie, this was the reason I couldn't come. Uh, excuse me. All these words were not uttered by me but she herself started consoling me so my perception of feeling of opposition was totally upside down <laughs> she was consoling me so <laughs> so that is no no <laughs> That is how it happened. So, I can, I can feel the relationship being maintained without feeling of opposition. It was me who misunderstood her, but not she. And uh, I have uh, a cousin sister. She was cruelly tortured by her husband. One sample. While she was sleeping, her husband used to open her eyes, throw some chilli powders. Really? Really? This has happened four or five years back. And uh, she, she raised complaint in uh, all women's police station. Um, harassment cases were booked on him. So this was happening. But as uh, Infanta ma'am said, 
in church we used to give a promise that we will not leave our better half on any case there is a statement in battilum tunbattilum udal nalathilum noyilum naan unnai vittu vilaga maten in all my goodness sorrow even if i am healthy or not healthy i will not leave you this is the promise we give before god so actually she thought of being separated from him but later she used to pray and we all will console her give her some moral support that's it it's her decision to continue to live with him or not we we have never forced her to do that but one fine morning she came to me and my husband and she told that she is going to go back to her husband the entire family was shocked and that time i realized how she has removed the feeling of opposition and now she uh, her husband and her two daughters are together happily living happily see how the feeling of opposition has been changed so in that worst case the feeling of opposition was removed why not in our cases so that was the lesson which i have learned from my cousin sister and with my son as well being a teenager as sweetie ma'am said i used to check all all his uh, snapchat uh, insta everything all his social medias um luckily this uhv2 i attended in online so i used to uh, listen to the sessions uh, at home um one or two days because that uh, that was on a holiday i had uh, my college college was not uh, functioning that day so two days my husband and my son were also listening to uhv sessions um the word how many uh, touched my son so much <laughs> so he used to talk about that how many very often after that even when there is a small argument a uh, small uh, feel of dissatisfaction my son used to remain about that harmony so he was moved by that word harmony and then uh he found that i have started trusting him that i am not checking his uh, social medias one day he asked me why ma you have you are not at all seeing my snapchats and instagrams uh, nowadays he asked me i replied that uh same i started trusting you um he was moved he literally cried uh then he gave me a promise amma i will meet all your expectations i will be a very good son to you i will not do the mistakes that i have been doing so far um i'll be a promising son to you and you are the only reason for what i am today all these were he started saying like that so that trust i developed only after listening to this uhv2 because that is the foundation value of all the relationship so from that day onwards he is he has started being good so i am happy that this uhv has transformed my son as well uh, listening to the sessions two days so we used to share um, the information that we gathered here with in my family also i used to share and my husband was also very happy that i am attending uhv3 that is the reason he left me here uh, and he gave me permission for not attending his uh, father's uh, rituals as well because he know the values of human values <laughs> that is the reason thank you since i am planning to enroll myself the court team i have not registered for this morning uh, sessions till now sir i am planning to join in the next batch thank you thank you and good morning